All right, welcome everybody. We've got to Friday Night Lights here at Olympic High School in Steel Creek, Charlotte, North Carolina. A local rivalry with Harding University High School. Harding comes in one and three. Olympic number ten in the Charlotte Observer Sweet 16. They're four and zero here, so a chance to uh, improve their record to five and zero here on this uh, beautiful Friday night here in Charlotte. So. It's a home game here at Olympic, so last home game, uh, they were in control there and uh, went last week and beat uh, East Mecklenburg, so good win for them last week, 53-7. to Tough loss there last week, however, for Harding University, losing to West Mecklenburg 56-8, to so and they're going to try to turn the tide here against a very explosive offense from Olympic. It's going to be definitely a tough test, Vinny, for Harding to try to come back. That offense with Olympic, with Walker and Reese, uh, Reese Graham in the backfield, and then the weapons out at receiver for Elijah Holm of Sterling Green, Kai Morris, and Connor Forloin and D'Angelo Hall. It's, it's going to be tough to stop. Yeah, last week, uh, Graham especially was outstanding. Uh, nine carries only for 102 yards, three touchdowns there in the Big win, as we said, over East Wackenberg, 53-7. So back home here, good weather. What I'm wondering is, can you give me, like, ice cream? Like Zoe has? The North Carolina High School and Medical Association welcomes you to the conference meet. Zoe has ice cream. And reminds you of the NCHSAA's initiatives, sportsmanship. So together, we make the right call. I can have an ice cream? <laughs> <laughs> yes, a lot of kids are here in attendance. It's an exciting, uh, good weather game here. So, good crowd here at Olympic, all ages here to watch this exciting team here. Olympic, the home team will be in red tonight. They're all red jerseys with white helmets. You got uh, Harding University coming in with their white jerseys on here in this game. So we'll see. I think Olympic has got the edge here, but uh, Harding is going to try to give a good fight here. You know, uh, anything can happen in these type of rivalry games. Indeed. Man, I would love to see a very competitive game. Hopefully with a lot of scoring, maybe a good bit of defense. Hopefully one team at some point this season will put some pressure on Olympic. The only team I've seen do that so far this year has been Rocky River, and they only put up 14 points to Olympics. I think it was 29 or 28. Yeah, 43 points a game, as we said. Uh, Coach Brandon Thompson and staff have done a great job of designing plays here, getting guys open. The running game is taken over here. So a lot of weapons, as we mentioned, and uh, it's going to be difficult. Harding will have to try to contain some of this uh, big playability that the Olympic has. Mm-hmm. Here comes the marching band on the field, so we are about to hear the national anthem shortly. Time for the national anthem. By the Olympic High School of TROTC Color Guard. Tonight, right guard, first Lieutenant Davis, left guard, first Sergeant Rodriguez, carrying the state colors, and Sergeant Major Prisoner, and carrying the national colors, Sergeant Major Casanova.
Olympic is done with warm-ups. They're getting ready here for the National Anthem. Harding University about to complete their warm-ups here on the field. So we'll have the National Anthem here shortly for you. The ROTC now. Marching on the field, a good uh, tradition here. You've been about to honor America here, so. the ROTC marches there to the big O in the middle of the field. Gentlemen, please remember your hats for the playing of our national anthem by the award-winning high school marching band. Trojan band. Good start here for the Trojans band. We'll expect the Olympics all, offense to uh, get going as well. We'll see who gets the ball first here to start. Inside the top 10 in the Charlotte Observer Sweet 16 boys poll here for football this fall. So impressive start so far, but number 10, solid ranking here. So looking to build on that. And they've done it mostly with offense, but a lot of dominant defense as well. So good, complete efforts here by Olympic. So Harding again, will they have their hands full here throughout the evening? And Vinny, do you have the, the whole list of the top 10? I do not have it with me right now, but I know Butler is number eight, so maybe looking at them in their sights, maybe we'll see. Butler is in action today, so I can uh, run down the top ten for you in a moment. But Olympic, uh, just a good start. I think everyone knew they could do this offensively, but uh, looking defensively, really impressed as well. So um, I'll give you the top ten in a moment here. The Trojan defense, uh, I, not a lot of turnovers. There's have been quite a few sacks by a bunch of different players, including Raphael Brown, Manuel Cordray, and uh, 
Tavares Boone. Uh, a couple of interceptions apiece for, if I remember correctly, R.J. Graham uh, and several other other defensive backs for Olympic Trojans. Um, but the thing that impresses me the most about their defense, even though they're not super turnover heavy, they're very stout on the defensive line, uh, getting pressure on the quarterback, and are very sound fundamental defensive football team. And obviously you want to have some good momentum, carry that, keep that 5-0 and start going. And I think we'll see that here. I mean, it's going to be, again, really tough for Harding to pull this off here on the road. Get ready to come out to center field to do the coin toss. So here's your top ten. Providence Day is number one. They're idle this week. Chambers is playing West Mecklenburg. Here they're three and one. They're number two. Huff comes in at number three. Charlotte Catholic at number four. Sweet sixteen of the Charlotte Observer. Number five, Kings Mountain. Here, uh, continuing with back in 4A, Weddington is number six. Charlotte Christian Independent, their idol this week. Butler is number eight. Ardry Kell, idol as well. They will be the last home game for Olympic coming up here later in the season. Olympic number 10 here at South Point 11, going back to 3A. Back to 4A, Independence is 12, Hickory Ridge 13. Maiden 14, Monroe 15, and East Lincoln closes it out there. So pretty good uh, company here Olympic is kept in the Sweet 16. It's a very impressive list for them to be in the top 10. Definitely hoping they can move up the board here in the next couple weeks. And I think they have the momentum to do it. Now we got the captains on the field. The game is going to officially start at 7.05. I was on the field with the referee and he made the decision to start at 7.05. Welcome to Friday Night Football. Coach Greenleaf, we're so glad you're here. Well, it's been a warm evening. The sun is dropping in the sky, and we'll see if the temperature drops too. Hey, we're, we're on here. I'm Elite Small. He plays in. I would say his name wrong. Oh, it's Elite? Elite. How do you spell it? D L I Y T. Okay. And it's Nairn. N A I R N G. Elite Nairn. Did you hear that? Yes. I was wrong the whole time. I was I don't have to say anything. Well, we're making adjustments right here. Teams have gathered in huddle. And uh, thank you again for joining us as we get our information together with this later start. Harding came on the scene a little bit late, and so the refs are giving an extra five minutes. 
I was on the field talking to Harding's coach. We will be spotlighting a player from each team each quarter. And uh, as that goes along. Well, it's great to see the fans coming in. It's great to see the cheerleaders down there, the bands out on the field right now as the sun is getting ready to set. It should be a cooler evening as the sun drops, as the weather has changed on this September evening. It's great to see the stands filled with everyone. We've got some that are older and all the ones that are younger. And here comes the Olympic Trojans on the field. And they are rushing out. Of course, they're going to come out excited here. I mean, great start to the season. 4-0 again, as we mentioned, at the top number 10 of the Charlotte's over Sweet 16 pool, among one of the 4A best teams in the area. So, try to build on that. Uh, wearing their all reds here. Well, the coaching staff for Olympic, Coach Thompson with his supporting staff, Darren Hart, Mizuko, Fischetti, Coach Brown, Coach Possum, Freedy, Ford, Giles, Daniel, Small, Irving, and Hart, EJ Hart, student assistants, Niasia, Blakeney and Destiny Nicholson. Athletic trainer Ben Fonseca and uh, videographer JJ Hay. Coaching staff for Harding University. Jeffrey Caldwell, that's who I met with out on the field for the Spotlight players, and they're getting ready for the kickoff. Harding will kick off, so Olympic and their offense will get the ball first here, so the immediate test for the Harding University defense here. Again, 43 points a game, the Olympic Trojans score, and uh, both teams coming off uh, opposite style of games here. 53-7 to seven East Mecklenburg was the victory for Olympic last week. 56-8 was the loss for Harding, so work cut out for them as we are underway here. It's a kickoff that goes to about the 30-yard line. Good return by Olympic. There's a flag on the field, past midfield, down to about the 33-yard line, but there's a flag on the field. And that's uh, number six, Reese Graham, with a nice run back, but we'll have to see what that uh, flags on the field. Penalties coming in. It's a hold on Olympic, so it will come back on this return. Good effort there by Graham, but it's going to come back. So this Olympic offense will start in their own territory here to test uh, the Harding University defense. All right, so uh, the quarterback, Elijah Holmes, number 12. Going with the four wide receivers here on this set. With uh, Devin Walker in the backfield, the Connor Fourline and D'Angelo Hall to the left. Sterling Green goes in motion. It's a pass, dump it off to Sterling Green to the sideline. Not much there. Incomplete is the call, so nothing at all there. So it'll be second and ten here for... Olympic. So good uh, defense there to cover all the receivers here. So still going with four receivers. This time Sterling Green is into the slot in the left, flipping the formation here with four line and Hall to the right. And here's a run up the middle. Good power running there. Helmet comes off. That'll create a third down and manageable situation. Devin Walker with a good game there. It's a couple yards to go here for the first down. Mm -hmm. 
Out of the shotgun, here is Holmes. There is a flag on the field. Looks like a Harding may have jumped here. And it'll be a free first down here for Olympic on the first drive. So, got the penalty there to help, but uh, overcoming that short, incomplete pass there, first down. New set of downs here for Olympic. Handoff is to Walker again. He gets about three or four there on the handoff from Holmes. Call that gain of five here, so it'll be second and five here for Olympic. All right, back to four yards. So they officially call it second and six here. Again, uh, Walker is the running back right next to Holmes in the shotgun. Four receivers again for Olympic. They've had a lot of success spreading the field. Here's getting some motion there for Sterling Green to the outside here, and uh, the ball has popped out of bounds, but uh, not much there on the play. Good hit there, but uh, gets up, and now they'll face another uh, third down opportunity here for Olympic. So still five yards to go here on third down here. Four receivers still in the game. The handoff is up the middle to Devin Walker. Walker has day right up to the middle and he's down and around the 25 yard line. A huge hole opened up there and good burst to the outside. All right, as they move the chains for this first down, let me talk about the offensive line, Terrence McKay. Number 55, Christian Carranza. He's on the offensive line. He's in my class first block. Cameron Stanford and Andrew Brewer. Lucas Carranza, number 77. And it's Terrence Mackey. Sorry Chris about Holmes that. does a little hitch and fake there. Another short pass, pass out to Sterling Green. He goes out of bounds right short of the 20-yard line here. So short game, but they're trying to get the ball into his hands quite often here. In the first quarter, there's a penalty flag on the field at the, about the 31-yard line. See what the call is. It looks like it may be a hold and coming back here it is. So it'll be uh, backwards uh, 10 yards here. So good pressure there by Harding. Had to do something there to uh, stop the action. We got Jacob Siri on the video camera tonight. We're glad he's here every week. And we got Vinny joining us again for the home game. Holmes, another short pass there to Sterling Green. He goes to bow. Oh, not down. A little. That's Kai oh, Morris, wow. number four. Number four gets the ball. Interesting how he picked up that extra yards. Looked like he was down, was about to be down, and he was able to spin out of it. Nice. So nice Kai play. Morris gets involved here in the offense. That was Kai Morris, not Sterling Green on the catch, but similar play design. Now he's isolated to the left here for Elijah Holmes. Got three receivers to the right. Devin Walker still in the backfield. The handoff goes to Walker, going. No, it's a keeper here by Holmes. Good ball handling there on the option. And it's uh, inside the five here and a chance to put up a touchdown here for Olympic. Very interesting. The point on all the plays here, Coach Greenlee. Well, that's one, one thing with Coach Thompson and his offensive uh, coordinator. They um, come up with creative plays, and they're able to do it because they have that great offensive line, Mizuko, as the coaching staff. And it's first and goal. Let's see what they do here, see if they keep it on the ground to Walker. A fake the there to Walker and a great pass there. The D'Angelo Hall, touchdown, Olympic. Good drive here for Olympic on the opener. 
And it's six nothing here. There were 44 goals for the extra point. Their goals, pretty reliable here to add, make it seven nothing. And it's, and it's true. So, good start for Olympic, I have to say. I mean, just had some incompletions early, had the penalty, overcame that, and started rolling. So about halfway through the first quarter, I think the Olympic looks pretty sharp tonight. Let's see what Harding can do on offense. A lot of energy tonight on the Olympic side. Lots of fans in the stands. And it is a red night tonight. to match the Olympic Trojan players. Lots of red tonight, very exciting. Jared Goals will kick off from his own 40. Low kick. The Rams need to get something going here. It's a little bit of a muff kickoff there. Good tackling, gang tackling there by Olympic. They're gonna stop this return inside the 15-yard line. So, bad field position here to start for Harding University as they try to answer the touchdown here by Olympic. Procedure penalty here for. All right, while they uh, get that worked out, our quarter one spotlight player for Olympic this evening is number 52, Jalen Davis, 2022 football captain. Jalen has been having a strong senior season so far and has already received offers to play college football. Jalen has great football IQ, a high motor and a weight room warrior. Very strong and can play any spot on the defensive line. Also plays guard on the offensive line and fullback. I know Jalen, he was in my class a couple years ago. Fine young man. That's the running back, help. not much there for the Harding Rams there. The running back was Kendrick Davis. He was brought down by Jermot Duncan. And it'll be a loss of one here for second 11. Make that 12 here for the Rams as they try to get something going here to answer what Olympic did. The quarterback here is number nine, Diego Parks. Takes the snap. Another handoff goes to Kendrick Davis. And uh, that's not going to work either. So they, they're down to the 12-yard line. So maybe they've lost another yard there. So they'll bring up third and long here for Harding. Not a good place to be against this very talented uh, defensive front of Olympic. All right, so they put in uh, four receivers here. Trying to get something going in the passing game. Parks in the shotgun, takes a snap, short pass here. Trying to get something going Pass in to space. The Miss tackle, but uh, they wrap up there and uh, keep them well short of the first down here. So uh, Harding will have to uh, bring the punting team on. All right, as they're setting up, let me do the quarter one Harding. Play, a spotlight player, Keyshawn Jackson, 
He's number four. He's a senior. He's a leader, a student athlete, and is very consistent. When we say leader, student leader, uh, student athlete, he's a great student athlete. That's what Coach Caldwell told me on the field. That is our quarter one spotlight player for Harding. And the punt is up. Green has to go back to his own 45 to get it, but it creates some space. Cuts it back and gets past midfield. Another flag has been thrown here on the return, so we'll see what that's about. The officials are conferring at the big O. Decide what's going on. And it'll be penalty on Olympics, so they'll have to move back a little bit to start this drive. So another special teams penalty here on the return, so we'll have to look at that a little bit, clean that up. It'll be first and ten from the 40 here, so still a great field position, even with that penalty for Olympic. And again, you don't need to give this offense much help with that field. Walker again starts as the running back on this series with Elijah Holmes, quarterback. Four receiver sets, sticking with that. Short pass there to Kai Morris, this time on the left side. Fights, 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 before it takes Three or four Harding University Rams bring him down just a little short of the first down, about seven yards on that play. That's second down and three for the Trojans. Different look differently a little bit here on this. Uh, Formation here, D'Angelo Hall in line on the left side. See if they get it to him. No, they use Hall as a blocker to the outside, and Devin Walker with a powerful run puts his shoulder down, gets the extra yards. First down for Olympic. Really like that formation there where use Hall, he's a big guy, tight end, get his body out there. Um, 6'2, 185 at tight end, so good job there to create a little confusion for Harding. So now they go with a jumbo look here with Hall in the backfield, put him in motion. And maybe a little bit too much going on there on that play. It's a false start there on Olympic. It's a loss of five there, and it'll be a first down again here for Lipic. Now they go back into their four wide receiver formation with Walker in the backfield. And Walker gets the ball. Walker cuts it down. He tackled around the 39-yard line. That will create a second and manageable gain here to get the first down. They're at the 40 of Harding. Call it a second eight. Holmes looks to the bench to see the call here. Still four receivers, two on each side here. Walker remains the tailback for now. Holmes goes back to pass, throws deep downfield for Kai Morris. Can't quite bring it in, but there's a flag on the field at the 45-yard line. We'll see what that's about. A face mask against Harding. That will give Olympic a first down. That will give the Trojans a first down. So couldn't complete the pass downfield, but get a good chunk of yardage on the penalty to move forward here deeper into Harding territory. Great effort by Kai Morris on that. 
Nice throw by Elijah. First and ten, Trojans from the red 25 yard line. First and ten, Trojans from the 25 yard line. All right, now they put D'Angelo Hall back in the backfield there to the left of Holmes in front of him. Now a little fake handoff to Walker, rolling out to the right and can't quite connect with Connor Forline there. He had the ball at the 10-yard line, but just a little bit off the connection. So they'll have to try again on the next down. Second down and 10 here. Just missed that connection, I think Forline Probably would have walked into the end zone if he had caught that, maybe thinking about it. All right, they keep uh, Hall in the backfield, this time to the right of Holmes and Walker. Walker goes in motion, and another, looks like procedure penalty, we'll see. Yep, it is. On the Trojans. So doing a lot of stuff here, motion, pre-snap, and uh, maybe uh, maybe a little too much there. So they'll do it again from the 30-yard line. They'll be second and 15. Coach Greenleaf, it looks like they're always in a different formation on every play, which is really impressive. It yeah. is. And that uh, goes back to Thompson being in his third year, really building a tight unit and growing it each year. A very good run by Walker there. He gets the 20, so about five yards short of the first down here. A little bit of a fake pass, a little uh, play action run there. But they're just short of the 20, so to make it a six yards to go here for the Trojans. Third down. Seven nothing, Trojans lead 426 on the clock. Looks like a passing play. Oh, man. He was right there. They tried to get Hall involved, but uh, again, a uh, little bit of trickery there going through Walker to get to Holmes. And we'll see what they do here if they keep the offense on the I think field. they're going to go for it. Yeah, I think it looks like it. No sign of uh, Jared Soles coming on the field. So Coach Thompson does that quite often, especially in their territory. Four receivers lined up near side and far side. We'll be surprised if they took a shot to the end zone here to just get it all on this play. Quick pass. They have the play, but there's a pass interference here. Pass interference. Ty Morris was held there on the play by number two, LeBrian Pittman. Looked like he committed some interference there. So Ty Morris was open last minute. You had to get the penalty here. So that'll move the chains here for Olympic. So. So another first down for the Trojans. All right, they put Hall back in the backfield here to the left. The handoff goes to Devin Walker to the outside, tries to break a tackle, brought down around the eight yard line. Well, Brian Pittman recovered there after the penalty to make a good tackle there, keeping Walker from bursting into the end zone on the sideline here. So another shot here that Olympic will take at the end zone. They put the ball at the eight-yard line. Holmes looking to the sideline, see what they want to do. Three receivers to the right here with an extra blocker up front. And the handoff, no, the fake is to Walker. And then uh, Elijah Holmes has to get rid of the ball under pressure there. Good pressure there by number 11, D'Angelo Parks for Harding. So he had to get rid of the ball there. Not fooled as Parks on that play. So now we're facing another third down in the red zone here for the Olympic 
Trojans. Well, we'll see. Um, this is sometimes uh, where Elijah might hold on to it, keep it, and run it in. It just depends on how they spread the field. They have lots of uh, weapons to use, and that's what makes it hard on the defense. We'll see if they use the size of Kai Morris here. Oh, Kai Morris just couldn't get his hands on it. The pass a little bit behind him for him. Holmes here. We'll see if they bring the field goal unit on on this one. It's a little bit harder. Third and goal, fourth and goal from the eight. Uh, they're looking in. No sign yet of kicking the field goal. Nope, they're keeping the offense on the field and being aggressive again. This time, let's see if they go to D'Angelo Hall. He's lined up in line on the left side here with the three receivers creating attention on the right. I'm surprised that they threw a jump ball to Hall here. No, the handoff goes to Walker. Touchdown. It's a lot of trickery there. And they end up handing it off right up the middle. So Jared Soltz adds the extra point here. It's 14-0. Well, there you go. Uh, the first t touchdown was D'Angelo Hall. And second touchdown by Devin Walker, number 24. Now, I will say this in this uh, time that we have. A little bit concerned about the passing game because several passes uh, that were missed. And so... I would think that they're going to be talking about that. And we'll see if they make those adjustments. Well, bottom line, 14-0. Goals set number 44 to kick off. All right, let's see if they can avoid a penalty on this one on the special teams, clean up some things. Both penalties did come on returns here, so here we go. And it's a bounder that's picked up around the five-yard line. That's number nine. Diego Parks. So, again, the hard team will try to get something going here. I mean, this is a danger territory for them on the road here. Down 14 in the first quarter. We'll be talking about Diego Parks a little bit later. He's one of the spotlight players for the fourth quarter. Lots of energy on the sidelines. Fans keep piling in, and we have a full crowd out here. You can feel the energy from the crowd. All right, it is Diego Parks handing off once again to... Uh, one, Kendrick Davis he gets a little short run to the left here. Trying to avoid that third long situation like they had on the last drive here for Harding. A little bit more than the two minutes left in this first quarter. Right. See what uh, Harding elects to do here. They've been a little bit conservative early on their one drive. Short pass here into the open field, trying to get some yardage close to the first down. He may have it here for Harding. We'll see. Look at the measurement. And they will move the chains. Just enough for that first down, right at the marker. 
So that's the first first down of the game for Hardy. All right, Parks in the shotgun. Oh, and a handoff missed there. It's a fumble recovered by Olympic. So a little uh, mishandling of that exchange between the quarterback and running back. The Trojans right there to pounce on it. I believe that might have been 52 or 31. Manuel Cordray or Jalen Davis. Looks like Manuel Cordray was the player on that one. So good recognition, quick reaction there to get that turnover. And now Olympic is set up in business once again, trying to add to this lead. Yet some more points. They, they've got great cover. field position. Let's see if they get aggressive here after the turnover. Holmes does go back to pass. Under pressure. Oh, he escapes it, gets out of the pocket. He's still on his feet. What a great play by Holmes. Near the first down. Could have been a major loss on the play. What a great play. Well, that's where you are impressed with Elijah Holmes because it looked like he was trapped and he was able to escape. Go right up the middle. Big missed opportunity there by Harding. But some magic by Moore on that play. They go back to their four receiver sets here, three to the left, including uh, D'Angelo Hall in the slot there with his big body. See if they go to him again. The pass is to Sterling Green in the slot for a touchdown. And it is another six points here for Olympic. They do get on the board one more time. I almost feel like Coach Thompson was listening to me because we were talking about the passing. And there it is. They made the correction and a touchdown immediately. Nice job, Elijah and Sterling Green for that conversion. And on to attempt the extra point is Jared's goals here. So make it 21 nothing. So less than a minute left in the first quarter, and it's all Olympic, 21 nothing. They cash in immediately after that turnover. No, the, the, it was uh, off to the side. The extra point is no good. So, again, some special teams things to correct here, but other than that, 20 to nothing after a quarter here. Now, if you heard my comment, no, Coach, Coach Thompson is not listening in on my conversation. He has experts up in the box and uh, they're making the adjustments with their coaches. But it is, it's nice to see that adjustment. Well, we're still in the first quarter, just under a minute to go. And Olympic will be kicking off for the third, fourth time, third time. Goals set to kick off. 55 seconds left here in the first quarter. And the kick will go. We'll let it go out. Out of bounds. So, it's so not a good little uh, stretch there for Colts, but he'll work on that. Missed extra point attempt and the kickoff out of bounds to follow that. So Now, as uh, Harding sets up, I'm going to mention the, the twins. You've got Diego Parks at quarterback, and you've got D'Angelo Parks, number 11. They're twins. Uh, the coach said out on the field, they're a joy to watch. It's great to hear positive things. We'll be talking about each of those um, a little bit later. I've already mentioned them as a preview. First down. 35 yard line. Let's see if Harding can get something going here before the end of this Keeper quarter. Keeps. Good uh, run by Parks. Breaking and some the tackles. first down. down. 
Now look at that. We just talked about Diego Parks, number nine, and he gets a first down as he keeps it. Was able to get to the outside. Yep, good tackle there to prevent future yardage by Tosi there for Olympic. Oh, Chief, number 22. I was thinking maybe Diego Park's getting a little settled in this game. The ball is at the 47-yard line. Parks back to pass. He wants it all. Deep pass. And the ball is intercepted here. Intercepted by Olympic. Good run back into the number territory two, by number, number two, two. Robert Graham. Robert Graham with a great interception. Then maybe a late hit there on the return. So Olympic. Everything going their way here. Robert Graham. Too much coverage there. Two guys were in the area for Olympic. Well, let me let me mention Raphael Brown, number 80, on the offensive line was uh, defensive line was able to uh, put some pressure. The cornerback saw him coming and got rid of the ball quickly. Nice job on that hurry up, Raphael Brown, defensive line. All right, so I guess it's not over yet for Olympic in this quarter with the scoring. You have one more shot here. Only uh, 12 kicks on the clock here. So let's see if they can do something. All right. Well, the penalty, as mentioned, out of bounds there is going to move the ball in prime scoring position here for Olympic. It'll be at the 20-yard line, so tack on another 15 yards. So this is probably going to be either the last play of the quarter or second to last play. A short pass here to Connor Fourline into space, makes a cutback. He's going to fall a little short there of the first down, but uh, that'll be the last play of the first quarter is over. 20 nothing is the score here. And we'll see where Olympic picks up where they left off here in the second quarter. Well, this is a tough night for Hardy. Uh, they won their first game, and then the last three games have been uh, some blowouts. And that says a lot about the Harding team. Uh, the head coach was talking about it, that these guys get up, and uh, they know what they're facing, and they show up every day for practice and for the games, and uh, hats off to them for their perseverance. play here with the Olympic drive now continuing here so the handoff goes on first down or second down I should say after the catch by four line so that's a first down so now Changing it up a little bit in the backfield. Reese Graham. Now behind Elijah Holmes. So Devin Walker had the whole first quarter. Come in with Reese Graham. Again, we mentioned nine carries under two yards and three touchdowns last week for Graham. He goes to the left side here, trying to find a hole. This is quite a one-two punch they have here with Devin Walker and Reese Graham. So 
you have Walker Weather, you put in Graham with fresh legs against his tired defense. Or then you have Elijah Holmes can hold on to it. So, yeah, this defense has to be tired. They've been on the field quite a bit already in this game. A little fake. Holmes tries to keep it under a little pressure, buys some time, throws in the end zone. And the flag is on the field. That is an obvious holding there. So, too long there, that trying to keep the play alive. And to give a big shout out to the Olympic Spirit Club and the tickets tonight. Students, let's make some noise! We'll see what they do after this penalty. Right. Around the 20 yard line is the ball. Holmes slips to the right, pass is nearly intercepted, but but a little bit uh, off target there. Hall, big target there, but couldn't quite get it up to where he needed to get it. So that'll bring a third and goal, a very long third and goal here from the 20-yard line. We'll see if they break this up under two downs and try to get half or a little bit more on this play. Harding needs something positive defensively here. We'll see if they get it. And a timeout has been called. Timeout, so we will take a timeout also. You can see the future of the Duke and North Carolina rivalry on D1 Media Pro. There you see Hubert Davis, head coach of North Carolina, here to see Simeon Will. Looking live right there at a trio of Duke basketball coaches, John Shire, Nolan Smith, Emil Jefferson. On clock now at 12, kicks it in the corner, Lively for three, got it. Derek Lively, a corner three in an early nine quarter. Has a look to go off the dribble here, goes right around Lively and he gets the roll. Inbounds to Wiltshire. A step back, fade away, through contact. Simeon Wilcher. He's out for Mbako. He'll try one from beyond the arc. And Mackenzie Mbako is on fire to start this one. Hi, we're back. All right, we're back. Troy the Trojan, our mascot, is out in the fans, in the stands. There's a pass to the end zone. Sterling Green. So Olympic can do no wrong in the right down and distance situations here. 26 nothing. Great. Pass play there. Good connection. They involved some other guys and then they got Sterling Green rolling here. Last couple possessions. Here's Jared Stoltz to try to successfully make this extra point. That is good. It's 27 0 now. Just underway here in the second quarter. All Olympic here. 27 0. So. Two turnovers there by Harding on the last two drives to pile on to this lead here for Olympic. Great execution in the red zone for the team in red.
High kick. Picked up by number four. Keyshawn Jackson. That was our quarter one spotlight player for Harding. Interesting that the Trojans are playing against a Keyshawn Johnson. Keyshawn Johnson, one of the greatest USC Trojans ever, the number one overall pick in the draft. So Keyshawn Johnson playing against the Trojans tonight. Harding trying to get something going offensively. The quarterback, Diego Parks, trying to make something happen with his feet, but gets back to about the original line of scrimmage. May have lost the yard there. The Olympic defense coming out again. The usual suspects making the play, Raphael Brown, number 80. And also, the defensive line has played really great tonight. Yeah, let's talk about that. We got Tarvarius Boone, number 50. Jalen Davis, we mentioned as our spotlight. Terrence Mackey, Mackey. and uh, Christian Carranza. Cameron Stanford, number 66. Pass to the outside, number 10, Derek Bradshaw. Nice pass, nice execution, and a first down. Nice play by Harding. Brought down by number 22, Jaron Tozzi. That's Chief. the best play of the night for Harding here, so maybe a little spark in this offense, get, maybe get something going. They have some positive vibes here going into halftime. Diego Parks, best throw of the night for sure. From shotgun from his 40, a quick pass there, incomplete. Pass to number two, the Brian Pittman. Well, again, thank you for joining us for Friday Night Football here at Olympic High School. The Trojans taking on Harding, the Rams. The temperature is getting a little bit cooler from the heat of the day. The stands are filled, the cheerleaders are out, and the band will perform at halftime. Man in motion number two. The Brian Pittman. Here's a run by Diego Hicks. Parks. He gets to the big O, just short of the first down. He may have it. We'll see where they mark it. It looks like they're moving the chains. That was a nice run, how he slipped right through, like, uh, very quick. Right there at the 45-yard line of Olympics. So this is the best drive by far. For Harding in the game. See if they can continue it, get some points on the board here. Number four in motion yet again. It's going to be a penalty. They'll back them up five. That's not a good way to try to get points here. Go back to midfield at the 50. Low snap. And... All right, as they... Uh, Move the ball back. Let's talk about our spotlight. Penalty. Quarter two player for Olympic High School, Kai Morris. Kai Morris is a wide receiver. Myers Park transfer. Kai has been with the Trojans for the last two seasons. Kai had a great game last week with five catches for over 100 yards and was offensive player of the week. 
Ty practices hard every day and plays whatever position he needs to help the team. Ty is also a member of the Olympic track team. That's our Olympic spotlight player for quarter two. All right, we're going to try this again with Harding after the two penalties. Good, the pressure there by Olympic. Couldn't quite get the man down, and it looks like we might have a little bit of an injury issue there. Raphael Brown holding his arm or wrist there, right arm or wrist coming out of the game. So try to get the quarterback. They're going to check on him, one of the key defensive players. And uh, that, that was a good work by Diego Parks, uh, number nine. Uh, about to get tackled and was able to pass it down the field just beyond the receiver. And as we were saying, this was their best drive until the penalties. Now they're facing second and very long. And uh, Diego Parks trying to create there, running around in the backfield. Incomplete. And an incomplete pass there, so they'll bring up third long here after the two penalties. Not what you're looking for, those two penalties and two incomplete passes after driving into the territory of the Olympic Trojans at the 45. Still stuck on their own 45 here, two downs later. <laughs> And it looks like a timeout. So we will be back shortly. Thank you for joining us. Friday Night Football. They score! Boyd attacking and throws it down. Touchdown for St. Peter's. I'm here with Darren Lewis with Simeon Wilcher. Here with Presses Achua. About doing overtime. Did he say who it was? South Mac? South Mac. Pass to the outside. Another pass long. Oh, deep pass, and oh man, it looked like uh, it would be trouble there. Derek Bradshaw that got could have, the Olympic defense. That could have been a really breakout play. And now they're going to have to punt. So that was a good play call. A little, a little bit, bit of off. miscommunication in that yeah. secondary for Olympic. Let someone get behind him, but now. They get off the field here. So three straight incompletions here after the two procedure penalties for Harding. Now they have to punt back. Still down 27 nothing here. Sterling Green back to receive at 25-yard line. And the punt short is kick. short, and Green will not get an opportunity to return back. But uh, they'll mark it off there at the 37-yard line. Well, let me talk about Harding's second quarter spotlight player is D'Angelo D'Angelo Park um, Parks. You've heard of the quarterback, but uh, his twin brother plays defense. Here's what his coach said about him: great leader. High GPA, leader in the school and the community. So, based on, you know, the information I got from the coach, well-respected and a joy to watch. All right, Elijah Holmes back in the shotgun. Now Devin Walker back in the game, replacing Reese Graham again at tailback. The handoff is to Walker up the middle. A lot of daylight gets to the O and beyond. Crosses midfield, brought down around the 48-yard line. A very good run there. 
A very solid run here. D'Angelo Parks is on the field now. He's um, playing for the defense. And the defense Holmes has... is the quarterback in game, looking for the snap. And another handoff there to Devin Walker, breaks a tackle in the backfield. I think they might get a hold or something back there on Olympic on maybe number 77. We'll see. It was a tough spot there, Walker trying to create. And we got to give uh, a lot of credit to the defense of Harding. Oh, no, it's a face mask penalty against number 77. We got an injured player on Harding. Player receiving attention for Harding is Cameron Brown, number one. He's slowly walking off the field here. On the Olympic sideline, uh, the trainers are still there with uh, number 80. As Raphael Brown had to come out of the game on that last offensive series by Harding. So we'll see if he comes back in here next defensive drive. But meanwhile, it's another first down via penalty here with that face mask for Olympic. Walker still in the backfield with Holmes. They put four line in motion to the left. Another handoff to Walker. Walker to the outside. Gets a little cut. Gets to the sideline. Very close to another first down here for Olympic. So good use of formation, mixing it up with run and pass here, getting everyone involved. So great game plan for Olympic as usual on offense. They've been using these same four receivers pretty consistently, four line, Hall, Green, and Morris. Another timeout for Harding. And we'll take a break here and come right back. You can see the future of the Duke and North Carolina rivalry on D1 Media Pro. There you see Hubert Davis, head coach of North Carolina, here to see Simeon Will. Looking live right there at a trio of Duke basketball coaches, John Shire, Nolan Smith, Emil Jefferson. On clock now at 12, kicks it in the corner, Lively for three, got it. Derek Lively, a corner three in an early third nine. quarter. As a look to go off the dribble here, goes right around lively, and he gets the roll. Inbounds to Wilcher. A step back, fade away, through contact. Simeon Wilcher. He's out for Mbako. He'll try one from beyond the arc. And Mackenzie Mbako is on fire to start this one. the guy's name over and over again so <laughs> all right here's uh elijah holmes a little short pass to four line for the first down so getting everyone involved here in this passing game that's what i love about the olympic offense really spreading the ball around this home so he can call his own number he can handle walker he can throw to hall he can throw to green he can keep it he can do everything with this offense and the offensive line, it all starts with them up front. You really can set the tone for everything. So, another first down. Olympic threatening again, knocking on the door. And the handoff goes to Walker, this time to the left side. Not a lot of room there on that sideline. Well, he made a some good room. Run. Yeah. He made some room. He gets guys out of the way, but they're not out of the way for him. So quickly, again, I also like the tempo of Olympic here, trying to throw Harding off guard. You've got to think this Harding defense is certainly tired on the field. They've been on the field a lot. And the handoff goes to Walker. So kind of surging toward halftime here, working the clock a little bit. 
It's first and goal here. The Trojans going fast again. And, and we get a penalty. The, the quick snap uh, gets the Rams to jump offside here for Harding University. So it's, uh, again, penalties, mistakes. Uh, they haven't helped themselves with those. They're offensive or defensively, and they've helped the Trojans even more. And then we'll see what they dial up here on the slot machine. Could go anywhere, anyone at the, any time here. Again. Combs looking for the play. This could be another opportunity to get D'Angelo Hall involved in the red zone. The handoff, however, goes to Devin Walker. They'll do it the easy way up the middle. And it is now 33 to nothing Trojans. And Devin Walker, second touchdown. Of second the touchdown, yep. There you go. The only other score was from uh, D'Angelo Hall. <laughs> So that is your fifth touchdown for Olympic in the first half. And Eric Souls to attempt the extra point here to make it 34 0. We'll see. The kick is good. 34 0 Olympic here. Well, thank you for joining us this evening in Charlotte, North Carolina. Wherever you are, that's where you're hearing the game. If you're able to come on a home game, you'll see the crowds filling the stands. You got the DJ playing music in between. Lots of energy. The cheerleaders are out cheering. Kids are running up and around the stands, just having fun. It's a great thing to see. Stoltz to kick off for the fifth time in this half. So he's been busy with the extra points and kickoffs. Here we go. This one's a deep kickoff near the end zone. It's fielded there by Keyshawn Jackson. So not a lot there, and the shot of their own end zone behind them. So best kickoff of the night there for Colts. See again if Harding can get something going here. 34 0. The handoff. Kind of a front pitch there. First down here for Harding. Again, Keyshawn Jackson there with the first down reception for Harding. So they've gotten a few things together here in this waning moments of the second half, but got to avoid the penalties, got to keep moving the ball forward. They've had 
two turnovers, a fumble in the exchange between the quarterback and running back, as well as an interception. So Harding, a lot of penalties and a lot of mistakes here on top of uh, Olympic uh, execution being at a high level tonight. Long pass. Yeah, Parks taking Number a shot downfield. And it and looks it like, like it's incomplete. Too incomplete. So good, good coverage. Through. Good coverage there. That was a good pass. So taking their shots, hoping for something here. Chris Providence with a good play there in coverage. So they learned from their last to deep ball there against Harding. And it'll be second down. Parks, a low snap there, handles it. Throw is a little bit off target there to number two. LeBrian Pittman couldn't hold on, so the snap kind of uh, threw, things, threw things off there with the rhythm there for the quarterback. So now you got third and ten. Looks like a timeout, and we'll take a short timeout also. All right, this is Adam. Take two. Mark. I guess. <laughs> I go like this. <laughs> the best part about playing football in Texas has to be the reaction from the community. I want to encourage others to play volleyball or choir because you get to experience new things and do stuff that you've never done before. My reason why is passion. My reason why is pride. We're back in action here. All right, here, De'Aaron Parks, again, another low snap here. Scrambling back, it's not ideal on third and long. Throws a prayer up there. And he it's catches, it's tough. received. Wow. He had the jump Fortunate, for it. Uh, they're extending the play. Great play by Parks, too. Keep that play alive. The best play by far of the night here at Harding. So, little magic act there. That was number 15 on the reception. He had Mon to jump for it. Monte, Monte Mobley. Mobley. Yep, looking great on that play. Jumping up. That so was a nice pass, too. He had to go for it. Yeah. So, they finally completed a long one. They've been taking a few shots here. Let's see if they convert this into points here. 3.38 left here in the first half of play. Ball's at the 40 once again Olympic. It's the second time they've been here. And a penalty it looks like. So yet again they've moved to the 40 and then a little gets the benefit here of a penalty against uh, Harding on the procedure. So back to the 45. They don't want to go to midfield like they did last time when they were in this situation. Parks the shotgun to empty backfield. Tries to keep it alive with his feet. To rolling to his left, throwing a ball up. And it's nearly intercepted there by Olympic. Attempted for number 18 
That's a Myron Cuthbertson. That was Robert Graham that made a play for the ball. He, had, he was known for a second interception there. Had the big interception return earlier in this half. So that ball a little bit off and uh, hung up in the air a little bit. So clearly Park's trying to make something happen here. Not happening too much in this first half for Harding. And we're back here, second and 15 at the 45 of Olympic. And we have a penalty, the right tackle moved a little bit early, so that's a false start here on Harding. So again, that penalty comes in to play again. So same thing happened last time. Got to the 40, two procedure penalties, and that was the end of that promising drive for Harding. And So deja vu all over again here for Harding, and it's not a good way. And part of that is just created by the great defensive line here of Olympic, just controlling the action. Really another complete team effort. Out of the shotgun, it's going to Diego Parks Long in as he throws, throws up a prayer. That one is intercepted. But hang on, it looks like... Number seven came it down It looks with it. like Harding recovered. He pulled the ball right out of uh, the hands of the defensive player. Very that was a clever play. Dermot Duncan he, had he, the interception, it seemed like, but taken away. So another fortunate break here for Harding. Could have look, been a disastrous play. Look, if you can't receive it, might as well steal it. And uh, that was very effective. So a Brings little bit them. of uh, breaks here for Harding, but they'll take it. Harding, another quick pass there. Under pressure, heavy pressure, Parks was. So this defensive line is just uh, really taking over. They're all over the field, disrupting. Okay, so Harding will try to get some points here. And once again. This is a clean snap for Parks there, and when he gets a clean snap and he gets protection, he completes it, just like on that play. This hasn't happened too often here for our... And it's got to be quick, because that defense is coming quick. And so they've been effective with that. Monte Mobley, again, who had a great catch jumping up uh, there to save his quarterback earlier this drive, makes that reception. Another clean snap, quick pass here. Onto the outside, they can't get it to Mobley again. Well, they're having success with it, so it's, uh, they're gonna, I think we'll see that quite often. I think that's the can. only thing they can do at this point. That pressure again up front by Orth, but just too much. And 2.46 on the clock. 34 nothing Trojans lead. Yeah, Harding trying to get something to take in to the locker room. They do kick. Pass to the outside. Whoa. And it's effective. Pickup of about four. No, that's even more than that. Looks like third and four. So, trying to get into first and goal situation, they can convert this for Harding. And, and a pitch back to number back. nine. Out of 
First and goal situation here for Harding. So first real opportunity to put points on the board. This time we have Diego Parks under center. And a timeout with 2.03 on the clock before the half. 34 nothing. We'll take a quick break also. can get on the board here before the first half is concluded. Here at Olympic, Olympic up 34-0. And here's a pitch and another procedure penalty here against Harding University. Do I have to do this again? So yet another penalty right in a promising situation. Just a quick step out of the press box. So that will make it a little bit more difficult to get in the end zone. They're on the 11-yard line now. First and goal from the 11. We'll see what Harding wants to do here. And they go to a jumbo package here for the most part. They spread the field a little bit. But add an extra blocker into the backfield. The snap to Parks. Well, it was a little bit uh, up there, and it's a fumble recovered by Olympic. So, again, Harding with a big mistake here costs itself an opportunity for points. So, tough, tough there. The snaps have been low and not all that secure for much of this half, and it costs them here. And it's a recovery for Olympic at their own 10 yard line. So, this half just continues to have a lot of mistakes here for Harding. This is the first time Olympic has had a long field. Let's see what they can do. This time they have Sterling Green in the backfield next to Holmes. They Just put Devin Walker out of the slot. They throw it to Sterling Green. Green to the left side. He's got plenty of room in the open field. When you get in the open field, he's going to break. And he's oh, he tackle him down to the 29 yard line. Just like that. That was number two, LeBrian Pittman. What a play design that was, because you had kind of a half jet sweep, kind of a half dump off with the Walker and Green switching roles there. Now Walker's back in the backfield. You have two receivers to the left and right. They're going Long deep pass. here. Throwing deep, there's a man open. And broken up there at the last minute. Had an opportunity for a big play there. Didn't quite come up with it. It was, again, Kai Morris. So just missed that connection here. So we'll do it again, second and 10 for the Trojans. Good protection, short pass. Kai Morris cannot hang on. He was... Uh, 
moving a little bit as the ball was getting to him, so couldn't hold on there, so bring up third and ten here. That was number four on number four. Number four on the defense, defending number four on the offense. There's one thing we haven't seen in this first half is a punt by Olympic, so if they don't get this, they'll be punting for the first time. But again, two receivers to each side. Falcon for Holmes. He's going to buy some time. There's plenty of time. Thrown to the sideline. And oh. the end zone hall. Right open. Reception. Near midfield. Right on the sideline was able to keep his feet Great. in bounds. Buying time by Elijah Holmes until somebody got open and that guy was Hall. And they're almost in midfield again, so no punts. Not happening here they're for gonna line up kinda quick. Olympic. They're going to hurry up here. Not much time left in this first half. Three receivers to the left. Holmes in the shotgun with an empty backfield, so they're going to the hurry-up mode here. So yeah, now you have a head of Walker. And excuse me, Walker was in the backfield. And Walker with a nice run, trying to get to that first down yardage. Maybe went back a little bit. And they nice pulled coverage. down at the 46-yard line, so they've crossed midfield once again. That There's was a nice only uh, coverage. 54 on seconds left on the clock here. Hardy. It's uh, split receivers, two to the left, to the right. Now they put Sterling Green in motion in front of the quarterback. Elijah Holmes has some time. Comes out of the pocket, flushed out, looking for the first down. Rock Moore gets to the 40, to the 30, 20, pushed out of bounds, kind of the 18 yard line. Holmes. Took off and run, ran there. Again, that extra weapon. Well, the field was wide open, and he saw it. Hurry up mode here. Not much time in this half. Four receivers. And it's a quick pass big hand off the walker. Green. Gets Sterling Green to the open field. You have 27 seconds. They're going to have to hurry it up here. They have one timeout left, I believe. And they're going to use it here. And we'll take a timeout also. The Marauders go back to their bread and butter. Their three offensive touchdowns today have all been on the ground. They'll go back to the ground here with Slade, and he's untouched into the end zone for a touchdown. Sam Slade in 21. Missouri. Under pressure, and he's Red taken Price. down. Back. Jack Price with Jack the sack. Back in the game. Goes under center. Toss to Thomason, far side, trying to pick up blocks, trying to cut back up field, and he's in for a Seton Hall prep touchdown. Hand off, Butler once again, steps through a couple of tackles, spinning the pile, pushing him forward. Is he in? No signal, yes he is, touchdown. We're back live here, trying to get points here to cap off a magnificent first half, and you get a touchdown here, Connor Forlorn, it's incomplete, so it looked like he had it, but he was trying to get in on the fun here, he's one of the few offensive Trojans who have not scored, again, got a lot of uh, excitement here. So Elijah Holmes will try it again. Third down, we'll see. Got 14.8 seconds on the board. They're going to have to put it up in the air. There's not enough time here with no timeouts to keep it on the ground. They want to get points. Elijah Moore in the shotgun, buying some time. Someone should be open. Goes to the right, goes to the left. The throw. And it is incomplete. So it'll bring up a fourth down here. So probably... Let's see what they do here. Fourth down. Did they bring out Jared Goals? Nope, they're going to keep the offense on the field. Again, try one more shot. It's worked all game long here. So now you have Sterling Green coming back in to the left side on the slot here. Devin Walker, the running back. Elijah Holmes drops back, has plenty of time, moves to his right. Throws to the end zone, and it that is will be it for the half. That's it. Thirty-four nothing Trojans, zero for Harding. 
and thank you for joining us. We will take a break. Please join us after the halftime. part about playing football in Texas has to be the reaction from the community. I want to encourage others to play volleyball or choir because you get to experience new things and do stuff that you've never done before. My reason why is passion. My reason why is pride. Martin drops back, looks left, throws left. Pass complete. Second and eight, Raging Bulls. Play action. It's tossed over the middle. Touchdown. It's in. Crowding the line of scrimmage. Man comes in motion. Minucci turns around, hands to Heath. He's got a first down, a lot more. There goes Ronnie Heath. He's off to the races. 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Don Bosco. Ball carried by number five, Ronnie Heath. Oh, it's a nice hit. That's a beautiful pass, though. Touchdown. Oh, that's a, that's a man that's right there. That's Jordan Marsh with the, with the concentration. Hey, that's a, that was a nice game. Uh, Shepard. Shepard throwing. He's getting chased that left. Throws it. Oh, 13 gets it. And number 12. I'm sorry, it's number 12 on the catch. Brings it in. Number 13. Number 13 with his second touchdown. Man in motion. And a pass up the field. Received by number complete. five. Jaden Blackwell. And that is a touchdown for the Trojans. And there is a touchdown. Boy, how quickly things can change. Over 10 seconds left on the uh, play clock. They're going to hand it to Smothers. And he got he cuts it up. And he got some room right here. And he's still going. He's still going. They're reaching for the touchdown. Wow. And that's another spectacular run from Dylan Smothers. He can You can see the future of the Duke and North Carolina rivalry on D1 Media Pro. There you see Hubert Davis, head coach of North Carolina, here to see Simeon Will. Looking live right there at a trio of Duke basketball coaches, John Shire, Nolan Smith, Emil Jefferson. On clock now at 12, kicks it in the corner, Lively for three, got it. Derek Lively, a corner three in an early third quarter. As he'll look to go off the dribble here, goes right around Lively and he gets the roll. Inbounds to Wilcher. A step back, fade away, through contact. Simeon Wilcher. He's out for Mbako. He'll try one from beyond the arc. And Mackenzie Mbako is on fire to start this one. Marauders go back to their bread and butter. Their three offensive touchdowns today have all been on the ground. They'll go back to the ground here with Slade, and he's untouched into the end zone for a touchdown. Sam Slade in 21. Missouri under pressure, and he's My taken down. Back. Jack Price with the yes, sack. He goes under center. Toss to Thomason, far side, trying to pick up blocks. Trying to cut back up field, and he's in for a Seton Hall prep touchdown. 
Hand off, Butler once again, steps through a couple of tackles, spinning the pile, pushing him forward. Is he in? No signal, yes he is, touchdown. Salters will take the snap, looking to throw deep, he's got a man, wide open, it's caught. Justin Mays, a foot race to the end zone. There he goes, touchdown. 80. Brown, quarterback sneak to the end zone. He's in, touchdown Westfield. Gordon, back to pass. Gonna throw a deep ball, far side, caught. Touchdown, touchdown Nasir Addison. Hey, but that on the suit. Oh! Rojas just took him and defeated him. Ethan Horton. Horton dribbles into the front court to Khalil Whitney. Go into the basket and the jam. with them because they are getting resources from the city. They are getting resources, and they are arguing with us about the timeliness of those resources. Attacking and throws it down! Touchdown for St. Peter's! I'm here with Darren Lewis with Simeon Wilcher. Here with Presses Achua. About doing overtime. Do you want your school to be covered by the number one live stream service in the state of New Jersey? So the entire country can see moments like this. We play once again. Free kick coming for the Mountaineers. Short shot on goal and post cannon! Let's go! Let's go! And they win! They take down the number two ranked City and Hall Pirates! Bullock takes the snap. He's going to take it himself. Barreling towards the goal line and he's in! Taraj Bullock from three yards out! Or be a witness to championships like these. Montclair, our state sectional champions. They defeat Livingston 4-1. And the Mounties sweep the boys and girls brackets in back-to-back -back wins over the Lancers. 3-2, there goes the runners. Swing on and miss. Strike three. That does it. The Cranford Cougars are the last dance World Series champions. Or have exclusive interviews with players and coaches. We're in a silver star pitcher, Teague Mulcahy. I'm here with Cranford star, Ryan Jarros. We're with the Bergen Crusaders, star of the game, Luis De La Cruz. Here with West Orange head coach, Doug Nevins. And... All right, now here with star goalkeeper, Nikolai Matthews of this West Orange Mountaineer team, Nikolai. We're with Claire Manning after Montclair picks up a 4-1 win over Livingston. I'm here with Molly Brumbach, the goalkeeper. Molly, what's what was today like? Here with West Orange girls varsity coach Sean DeVore. Then join the D1 Media Pro Team, New Jersey's number one live streaming service. Part about playing football in Texas has to be 
the reaction from the community. I want to encourage others to play volleyball or choir because you get to experience new things and do stuff that you've never done before. My reason why is passion. My reason why is pride. Martin drops back, looks left, throws left. Pass complete. Second and eight, Raging Bulls. Play action. It's tossed over the middle. Touchdown. It's in. Crowding the line of scrimmage. Man comes in motion. Minucci turns around, hands to Heath. He's got a first down, a lot more. There goes Ronnie Heath. He's off to the races. 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Don Bosco. Ball carried by number five, Ronnie Heath. Oh, that's a nice hit. That's a beautiful pass, though. Touchdown. Oh, that's a, that's a major play right there. That's Jordan Marsh with the, with the concentration. Hey, that's a, that was a nice you know, Shepard. Shepard, throw it. He's getting chased that left. Throws it. Oh, 13 catches it. And number 12, I'm sorry, number 12 on the catch. He brings it in. Number 13, number 13 with his second touchdown. Man in motion and a pass up the field received by number five, Jaden Blackwell. And that is a touchdown for the Trojans. And there is a touchdown. Boy, how quickly things can change. Over 10 seconds left on the uh, play clock. They're going to hand it to Smothers, and he got he cuts it up, and he got some room right here, and he's still going. He's still going. They're reaching for the Watch touchdown. Out, wow. And that's another spectacular run from Dylan's mother. You can see the future of the Duke and North Carolina rivalry on D1 Media Pro. There you see Hubert Davis, head coach of North Carolina, here to see Simeon Wilson. Looking live right there at a trio of Duke basketball coaches. John Shire, Nolan Smith, Emil Jefferson. On clock now at 12. Kicks it in the corner. Lively for three. Got it. Derek Lively, a corner three in an early nine quarter. As a look to go off the dribble here, goes right around Lively, and he gets the roll. Inbounds to Wilcher. A step back, fade away through contact. Simeon Wilcher. He's out for Mbako. All right, uh, welcome back here to Olympic High School on Friday Night Lights. Uh, Olympic here in uh, Charlotte, number 10 in the Charlotte Observer, Sweet 16. Cole playing up to that reputation tonight, trying to get to 5-0. and Well within reach of that, 34-0 here at the half. Great to first half put in by Olympic. Couldn't quite score the last drive, but otherwise very efficient with this explosive offense, averaging 43 points per game. That'll go up here with 34 in the first half alone. So very good half here for Olympic. We'll build on that here in the second half. Olympic will kick off here to start. Harding still looking for some points. Very good first half there, scoring by Olympic, five touchdowns. All right, we'll take a break here and we'll be back here with the second half of this contest. 
All right, this is Adam. Take two. Mark. I guess. <laughs> I go like this. <laughs> the best part about playing football in Texas has to be the reaction from the community. I want to encourage others to play volleyball or choir because you get to experience new things and do stuff that you've never done before. My reason why is passion. My reason why is pride. All right, this is Adam. Take two. Mark. I guess. <laughs> I go like this. <laughs> the best part about playing football in Texas has to be the reaction from the community. I want to encourage others to play volleyball or choir because you get to experience new things and do stuff that you've never done before. My reason why is passion. My reason why is pride. All right, nearing the second half kickoff here again. Olympic will kick off. They received open the game. So Harding still looking for points. Number 44, Jared Goals will be kicking off. So, Goals did this a lot in the first half with the five touchdowns. You do it for six time in this game, Harding. And uh, number four limping back there to try to return the kickoff, and he's down. Meanwhile, uh, Harding is returning the kickoff here to the 15, but they'll have to check on number four, Keyshawn Jackson, just kind of limped before the return started there. So we'll see if he can get off the field. And we're still checking on him now. Teammate is there. The training staff coming out for number four, Keyshawn Jackson. He gets up and he kind of limps off the field here, key part of their offense and their return game. So you see what happens here with Harding. And again, this shutout so far, 34-0 Olympic. The defensive front has played really well here. Injury, key injury up front here for Olympic, uh, Raphael Brown is uh, done for the night. He had a lower arm injury on a pass rush play there against uh, Diego Parks, the quarterback of Harding. So had to come out there in the second quarter. So he's done for the night. But of course, this game well in hand here, 34-0. And hopefully it'll be good for uh, next week. All right, Parks is the quarterback here for Harding still. Drops back, quick pass to number two, LeBron Pittman. Minimal gain on that as Olympic does some work there to keep him in check. There's the second half offensive series is underway here. Harding slowing the game down a little bit here with the huddle. Breaking free, trying to get something going again offensively. They had a good looking drive on their last position, only to have a fumble. Quick passes seem to be the route now of Harding to try to get the ball. There's another one there. Yeah, man, he looks like he's probably about five, six yards short still. Oh, wait, there they go. They didn't change down. About three yards short. All right, so they're slowing the game down a little bit here. 
Want to get that defense a little bit of a rest here after halftime, trying to reset things here. Down 34 nothing to Olympic. And there's a penalty here on the play before the snap. And a false start. Looks like a false start on the offense. So yet again, another penalty happening here for Harding as they try to get set offensively. It's a tough here half. Continues. And Harding trying to slow things down a little bit again. It's been a pretty wearing experience on their defense. Shotgun for Diego Parks. The handoff goes. Back to Davis. Kendrick Davis, minimal gain near the line of scrimmage. Well, thank you for joining us for Friday Night Football. I'm joining you a little bit late in the third quarter. I was talking with some of our security and police officers and uh, thank you for being here. We appreciate the security and police officers and the medical team that is here to support our students. It's great Friday night football. It was a uh, low snap, bounced off the ground. Oh. And as uh, the they turn over was, on downs there as they tried the fake punt to try to get something going or whatever that was, it didn't work and Olympic's gonna take over deep in the territory again with a chance to add some more points, so. So, Olympic offense seeing extremely short field. Turnover on downs. So, they put uh, Reese Graham in the backfield to start this half. Again, uh, very crowded backfield there. They actually have Walker and Graham in there. The handoff goes to Graham. He goes to the left side near the touchdown, but not quite in. So again, let's see if they can punch it in here again. Graham and Walker in the backfield. Walker out to the slot to the left. It's a keeper here for Elijah Holmes. He's near the spot, but not quite in. Give credit to Harding's and defense. And call it, looks like. It is, it's a recovery. So a recovery. Looks like Holmes looks like he lost the ball there, but so second opportunity in which Olympic does not convert the red zone. We had to play right before the end of the first half here. They lose the ball, but parting a long way to go. So, maybe a chance to get a safety here. We'll see. Or perhaps Harding might be able to move it up the field. They had some uh, good plays in the first half. Able to get it uh, past midfield with a couple of great plays. Nice execution. Trying the quick pass game once again, thrown down field. A little too far there for the intended receiver. And Sterling Green was on the coverage, tight coverage. As well defended by Chris Providence. Make that Chris Providence on coverage there. He's been the downfield corner here for, on the outside, they've been testing him quite a bit, but again, those are low percentage throws down the sideline. So, taking a shot there, instead of trying to run out of it, I mean, nothing to lose really here if you're the Harding University Rams, and they got to get something going. Again, right basically in their end zone, trying to get it out. And another quick pass, and another more. It looked like it might have been a interception, but Chris Providence couldn't put very close to walking in there, but now will be a third and long here, so. 
So dangerous, dangerous pass from one zone end zone here for Harding, but still they're facing a third down and long here. So. All right, so we'll see what they do here. Will they just run it to uh, create some punting room? Let's see? Nope, they're going shotgun snap, long pass, turn around, the defense. And he got, has it, inbounds. And a completion here. Looks like a first down past the 30. Wow, so nice that's a high degree of difficulty here. Nice he set again. He made the big play in the first half that bailed him out a little bit. Still looking for their first points, however, so we'll see if this sparks something. Again, improbable plays is what Harding is kind of basing the offense on. So it moves to the 45-yard line all of a sudden. So huge, huge play to get out of that danger zone. Let's see if they can put something together. We've seen this before, but Harding has to execute. Another quick passing game has seemed to work. But that seems to be the only source of offense here for Harding. Second and ten from their own forty five. See what they can do. 8:20 on the clock for the third quarter. 34 nothing. Trojans leading. And quarterback keeps. And a pickup of about four yards, maybe five. Close to the midfield O there, the big Olympic logo. Yeah, we've seen this offense get around here and something happened, so we'll see what Harding can do this time. This is going to bring up a third and five here, trying to get back to that 45-yard line. We'll see if they take another shot that seemed to work here on these uh, down distances for Harding. Oh, there's a low snap again. That's been a little bit of an issue there for Parks. Long pass down the sideline, looking for a penalty flag. Won't get it. Good coverage again there by Chris Providence. They've been keep taking their shots here. Not worked. And now they'll probably keep the offense on the field here, I would imagine. Fourth and five. Right at the 50-yard line. So they keep uh, going for that uh, downfield shot on the right sideline. Looking for a big play here. So, again, fourth down and five from midfield for Parks and this Harding offense trying to get points on the board. Parks again with a quick, quick pass. release. Nice pass over the middle. Nice execution. Good accuracy. Received. Brought down by about three of Olympic players. Great Number catch. 16, Andrew Watkins. Yeah, very good uh, play, good accuracy. They're good to play design for Harding. So moving the chains. They are now at the Olympic 29 yard line. So we've seen this before. Harding trying to come away with something here. And there's another procedure penalty here as they moved Andrew Watkins in motion who just made the catch there on third down, or fourth down. And they're moving it back five. It seems to be the case a lot here. They have something going and something will happen here for Harding at the wrong time. So. Motion number 16. 
Here's a handoff up the middle. Nice tackle there for Olympic. Number 75 made the play, Brandon Hardy. Good tackle there. Yeah, check that out. Brandon Hardy, 6'4", 280 pounds, and a junior. He works both sides of the field, defense and offense. From the 33-yard line. Another low snap. This has been the theme long of... Long pass. There's the long pass down the side. And line. it is a touchdown. Nice reception. Oh. Nice execution. No flags on the field. That was a tough one. Really couldn't defend that there. Nice attempt there by number three, Chris Providence, in coverage. But really, the sideline was an extra help to the offensive player there. So Harding, University Rams finally get on the scoreboard here with a touchdown. So it's 34 to 6 now. And we'll see what they want to do. Looks like they'll try to get two points here to try to uh, lead to under four touchdowns. Harding is going to go for two on this. Pass to the outside and is incomplete. So it will remain 34-6. There's some confidence there. Thirty-four to six, and uh, that was uh, some great plays by the Harding offense. Uh, some hurry-up plays, but it was effective, and six points on the board. Hey, we're going to do our third quarter spotlight player for Olympic, and that's going to be number seven, Jamat Duncan, starting strong safety for the Olympic Trojans. Jamat was plagued by some injuries earlier in the year, and is now back in the starting lineup. Jamad has a ton of speed and ball skills at the safety position and brings experience to the position, especially after having to replace both safeties from last year. Olympic graduates, uh, you know, talking about last year's graduates, Damian Payton and Isaiah Williams, who are both now playing college ball at Averett University in Livingstone College. Jamad is also a member of the 4x4 track team. They came in the second in state meet last year. That's Jamont Duncan, number seven. Here's the second kickoff of the night for Harding. It's a little bit of squib kick. Good return there by Sterling Green. He'll take it to the 35, and a late flag falls into the field. Now, it was interesting uh, in the warm-ups. I saw them doing that same kick. It's a personal foul against... Olympics. All right, well, they figured that out. Third quarter, spotlight player for Harding. I talked to the coach, and he said, number one, Cameron Brown, he's a junior, coming into his own. He was actually uh, playing basketball last year and decided to play football and loves it. And so that's our third quarter spotlight play player for Harding High School the Rams. So Olympic will start 15 yards back after the personal foul. They still have the ball here at their own 20. Still seeing Elijah Holmes as the quarterback with uh, Reese Graham in the backfield next to him. The handoff goes to Graham, cutting to the right side. Pick up about six yards there. Stayed in bounds. Good run, hard run there by Graham. And big week for Graham last week. Nine carries, 102 yards, three touchdowns there against East Mecklenburg. So trying to maybe build on that in the second half is uh, comes on for Devin Walker. So still the starting offense here on the field is 
It's now a four possession game. And another yeah, handoff to Graham, to and he is close to first down, still a couple yards shy here. It's a good power running in this. I would imagine they keep it on the ground here, and they do it with a quick count, and it's Holmes doing it himself. Oh, you could tell that was going to be a quarterback keep. They kept a tight knit crowd in the middle as they ran it up. So they'll move the chains here. The ball is placed at the 33 yard line. And handoff is to Graham, and he was going with the head of scheme, but brought down by a nice tackle here by number 11, D'Angelo Parks. We've talked about him and his uh, brother, spotlight player of the quarterback, Diego Parks of the Harding University Rams. So there his brother makes a play on defense. Good tackle there. On Took a heavy Graham. hit too. It was taking him on full run. And, and it looks like there's an encroachment. It's a free five yards it looks like. So after the great tackle they give up the five yards there to make it an easier conversion here. Only two yards needed again. I assume they'll keep it on the ground here to keep the clock moving at the 41-yard line. They do the handoff there to Reese Graham, and he's past midfield to the 47-yard line of Harding. First down. Well, the stands are still filled, and it is cooler this evening in Charlotte, North Carolina at Olympic High School. And it's another handoff to Reese Graham. A nice cutback there. Gets into the open field and breaks it for another first down here. Looks like he's out at the 37, 36-yard line, 37-yard line. I think Reese Graham wants that 100-yard streak to continue here in the second half, so going to build to it here. Probably get the bulk of the work behind Devin Walker here in the second half. They Looks take like it this time. And, and this time, Elijah Holmes, the Harding defense was not fooled by that play action. And a big takedown there by, again, number 11, D'Angelo Parks. So tough, tough play there, but I think Holmes did the right thing by just keeping the ball. And we'll do it again here from the Second 47. The yep. Holmes hands off to Graham. Graham to the right side. Gets a good chunk of those yards back, almost near the original line of scrimmage. I think it'll be about third and 12 here. We'll see what the call is officially. Call third and 11 here to convert. See if they keep it on the ground or put it up in the air. They'll throw with Elijah Holmes. He's got the game down the middle. He's open. Touchdown. Touchdown. Second of the game here for Hall. Great execution there. That is up to 40 points now for Olympic. Great pass play by Elijah Holmes. Yandel Hall, that big target in the middle of the field. Hard to stop there down the scene. They've been putting them to sleep with the running game and wake up with a long pass play to the tight end. And now we have a new kicker here to attempt the extra point. It is
Derek Bravo. Derek Bravo taking over the kicking duties here in the second half. Well, 214 in the third quarter, 41 to 6. And uh, let me tell you about something that um, I noticed today. After every touchdown at the home field, we have a runner run with the Olympic flag the length of the field. That guy's getting tired out because he's been running a lot. But he's uh, still has good tempo and pace. Not sure what his name is, but he is getting a workout tonight. Well, we have a personal foul that's going to allow the Trojans to have this kickoff at the 45 of Harding. So we'll see if uh, Goals just wants to squib kick this one, get them deep so it doesn't go in the end zone. And he was relieved here by Derek Bravo to hit that extra point. So Goals still on the kickoffs here for the Trojans from the Harding 45, boots it. It gets into the end zone. That'll be a touchback. So, so expected result there. So good answer for Olympic on Harding's first touchdown of the game. Forty-one to six, actually. Olympic still two points shy of the season average coming into the game is 43 points per game. So I think they'll probably hit that here at some point in the game. But right now they are enjoying a five touchdown lead, 41 to six. And here comes uh, Diego Parks back trying to get something going again after the touchdown drive for Harding on the last possession. Here you go, quick passes again to the outside. Seems to be the best source of offense here. And that ball is not complete, so again. Probably need to pass for much of the rest of the game here, down 35. Here with the fourth quarter just about upon us here at Olympic. Let's see what Harding can do. They were able to score the last time, and let's see what they can do. Parks on the move, rolling out to the right. Again, a throw to the outside. Nice pass. Good execution. Pick up about three or four. A little bit of a playground feel here for the way Harding's moving the ball, move around the quarterback parks, throw to the outside, find the open man. But it still brings up a tough down and distance, third down here. Three seconds left on the play clock. They get the snap off here. And Diego he's Parks keep it. is in trouble. He's going to keep it, and he's brought down. And a sack there. I believe the player was number 75, Brandon Hardy, who had a nice tackle in the running game earlier, comes up with the takedown of the quarterback. So it looks like uh, they're going to just punt it here down five touchdowns they're going to punt instead of just going for it just to make it more cosmetic and Sterling Green standing at Flag the Harden the and we have a penalty let's see what this is and it's on Harding so Harding will be punting from deeper it's legal substitution is the call on the field. That just can't happen here. 
Fourth and 15, so the punt will go to still Sterling Green, who's standing at, again at the 41 of Harding, ready for this punt. Nice punt. It's a nice punt. He backs Sterling him back to the 45. That. He finds some running room, however, cuts it to the right side, and is out of bounds around the 27-yard line, I believe. To Twenty-four yard line officially. So again, a big opportunity for it looks like we have a game. Their quarterback here. Number 17, Chance Cato, that takes over. Elijah Holmes Knight is down here as we begin deep into the third quarter. So Chance Cato, procedure penalty for his first snap, false start. So good night before Elijah Holmes for sure. Can't Saving wrong about his performance tonight. Spectacular once again, the leader of this offense. Now Chance Cato getting some reps. Number 17. Reese Graham is the running back, so I don't suspect we'll see Devin Walker. So going to the second string here overall. Here's Reese Graham to the right side, and then nice run here to 25. So a lot of... Uh, New Trojans in the game getting some playing time. So, good stuff for them. Looks like we have number 89, Jaden Stevenson, in the game, as well as Nicholas Vasquez. They're two of the new receivers in the game here for Chance Cato. And another handoff to Reese Graham. He's near the goal line. So, Cato coming in and handing off there quite a bit. You still have uh, two starters in the game here, Connor Fourline and Kai Morris. But First looks like the goal night. on the one-yard line, it looks. And interesting look here. They take out Chance Cato, bring in DeAngelo Hall, number 10. He's had two touchdowns on the receiving end tonight. Looks like he's going to line up in a wildcat look under center. And he's going to get the ball, and he scores. What a night for DeAndre Hall, his third touchdown of the game. He's had two on the receiving end. Here gets a direct snap. Chance Cato right lets him come in and score. Well, there you go, 47 to 6. And there goes our flag runner. with a nice pace. Derek Bravo adds to the lead here, kicking the extra point for Olympic. Now they will go above their average officially. Came in averaging 43 points per game. Now they're at 45 with their 48 point performance tonight. So the offense keeps getting better every week. Five seconds on the clock. 48 to say. Well, the score really shouldn't be a surprise, I mean, given the results, recent results here. It's the 53-7 beating of East Mech last week by Olympic, and West Mech beat Harding 56-8 last week, so kind of in line with those two scores that we saw. Harding just a little bit overmatched tonight. And that was Diego Parks. 
And we'll probably see some backup defenders out there. Two injured players. Trojan players slow to get up, but uh, on the Harding side, slow to get up also. Was able to walk off the field. And time has expired the end. for That's the, the end of quarter. for third quarter. 48 to 6. All right, we'll take a break here. See you next quarter. All right, this is Adam. Take two. Mark? I guess. <laughs> I go like this. <laughs> The best part about playing football in Texas has to be the reaction from the community. I want to encourage others to play volleyball or choir because you get to experience new things and do stuff that you've never done before. My reason why is passion. My reason why is pride. Well, there's no game next week, huh? Nope. No game next week. This Olympic team will be off next week. So well-deserved bye week here for Olympic. Going in with a short victory here, 48-6. to six. So just putting some finishing touches on this one. We have Diego Park still in the game there, trying to make something happen, build on something. His touchdown drive in this half. Here we go, another quick pass to the outside. This has been the offense all second half long here. That's all they can do here. That's a catch here. Yeah, number 15. That's Monte Mobley. He's been the big playmaker here for Harding. See if uh, this offense first string can get something done against the defensive uh, substitutes here for Olympic. Here's a keeper by Diego Parks, and he's close to the first down. But we do have the running clock, and so it will not stop because of the 40 plus points by Olympic, 48 to 6. Well, I'm going to do the spotlight player for the fourth quarter now. For Olympic, we got number 56, Christian Carranza, starting in left tackle this season and has been doing a tremendous job all season protecting Elijah's blindside. He's a program guy, all on team first, has good grades. Is tough and practices hard every day. Christian also is a member of the Olympic wrestling team. Olympic spotlight player number 56, Christian Carranza. Fine student. He's in my class. Enjoy seeing him first thing every morning. Mm -hmm. A little quick pass to the outside here. This has been the only in offense. A little bit of pressure there by number 58. For Olympic, was well, more has changed. And um, Zion Durham with a little bit of uh, pressure on the quarterback. There we go. So some other players getting an opportunity here. Still, you have some uh, players on the defensive line still out there, including uh, Tamari Spoon, number fifty. They played a really great game tonight, controlling the action up front, forcing the quick passes to the outside for Diego Parks. Parks back in the shotgun, another low snap, a good pass rush here. Oh, and yeah, a penalty. Pass interference. There was a push. Incomplete pass, but there's a penalty marker. 
Well, while they get that sorted out, let me um, give the last one, fourth quarter for Harding. Diego Parks, number nine, the quarterback. And uh, we said that his brother, twin brother, plays on defense. We spoke about him second quarter. Uh, look, the coach only had good things to say about Diego Parks. We've been seeing his play has been making a statement the whole game. Lots of pressure, able to scramble and get some yardage here and there. Um, one of the things that the coach said was everything is a joy to watch. And uh, great person and community leader. That Another is, flag on the field. It looks like a completed, no, incomplete pass, but there's a flag. We'll see what that's about here, speaking of Diego Parks. So that was Diego Parks, number nine, as our spotlight player. There's a hold the quarter. that'll bring that play to a negative situation here, right after the pass interference penalty on Olympics. So holding uh, negates the interference. Now you got a hole here on first down and long for Harding. And a lot of penalties here tonight for Harding, a lot. Really uh, hurting themselves here. You got to hand it to Diego Park, staying out there the whole game, trying to get something going. He's uh, had a rough out there tonight, but he's hanging in there. So good to see him persevere and keep playing out there. He's scrambling here, being chased there by number 74, Emmanuel Davis. And Diego was able to outrun him and pick up some yardage on that. Very interesting. I was looking out at the sideline and I saw him. Number 72, without his helmet on. Right outside the press box is his parents with a big cutout of his face. That's number 72. Andrew Brewer, offensive line senior, 6'2", 285 pounds. So shout out to his mom and family, brother Ben. Pass to the outside. And stops pretty much at the line of scrimmage. Maybe a pickup of one yard. Good little stop there. It's defense uh, Preston Evans getting in on the action. Number 26 Clarence Caldwell was able to stop that play. Linebacker, senior, 6'1", 170 pounds. We're back at the big O at midfield here as uh, Harding trying to keep this drive alive here. Passing play. A pass. Broken up. Over the middle. It looks like it was broken up by number 48. That's uh, Chase Howard, the linebacker. Chase Howard is a sophomore. 5'11", 170 pounds. And we'll see what they do here. And they're punting down 42 points at midfield. They're deciding to punt. Makes a lot of sense here. This would be pretty high on the wire punting meter. But the Sterling Green will get an opportunity. Nice and punt right to him. Fair catch. So strange decision to punt there. Just this stage in the game, got to get more confidence in your offense. Harding Under, seems to just want to get out of here with the running clock. Under four minutes, right at 3.30 in the quarter, 48-6. to six. 
and Clark is back to Chance Cato at quarterback. We also have a new running back in the game. That's Bryce Nixon. We'll get some carries here as the night of Devin Walker and Reese grabs off. Here. Martin drops back, looks left, throws left. Pass complete. Second and eight, Raging Bulls. Play action. It's tossed over the middle. Touchdown. In, crowding the line of scrimmage. Man comes in motion. Minucci turns around, hands to Heath. He's got a first down, a lot more. There goes Ronnie Heath. He's off to the races. 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Don Bosco. All right, we're back to live action here. There's the handoff. It goes to the new running back, Bryce Nixon. He's near midfield. Nice run. Bryce Nixon trying to get in on the fun here. Bryce Nixon, freshman, 5'9", 170 pounds. It's good to get some play time in. We have a flag, however, on the field. It looks like it will come back. Flag on the field. Well, nice run by Bryce. Will be brought back. So we still have uh, Connor Fourline, the starting wide receiver in the game. Next to him in the game is also Solomon Ford. He's getting an opportunity here in the offense. Terrell Ford was his brother that has... Here's a quick pass graduated. from Chance Cato to Forloin. Forloin brought down hard by LeBride Pittman, number two. If you um, were listening in last year, you would have heard uh, Terrell Ford mentioned several times in his play as a senior and he has graduated and moved on to college all right we have a timeout that means we'll take a timeout here briefly Attacking and throws it down! Touchdown for St. Peter's! I'm here with Darren Lewis with Simeon Wilcher. Here with Presses Achua. Alright, with one minute left in this game. Well, as we go into this final minute, thank you for joining us for Friday Night Football. Probably a couple more plays left in this game. Number 17 passes to number 16. That's 15. That would be Solomon Ford. And that is Solomon Ford, right on. Had him in my class last year. We said he was a sophomore, 5'10", 165 pounds. Great to see him get a reception. 
but and this game is 35 seconds left in the game and so next week is a bye week we will not have a football for Olympics so uh, join us in about two weeks for Palisades at Olympic at Palisades sorry about that it's going to be at Palisades in a new stadium should be a big game join us there for live stream Jake Seary is on the video the game is running out of the clock here and 18.3 seconds left and we're glad to have Vinny on board tonight giving excellent commentary and it's finished 48 to 6 is your final and there goes our runner with the flag well, thank you for joining us to Friday Night Football. Vinny, do you have anything else to add in as well, we close it out? Well-deserved by week here. We'll see how they do against the house divided Palisades next time, next game. But this team rolling, 5-0. and We'll see where they end up in the Sweet 16. The Charlotte Observer going to their bye week. So uh, don't miss us in a couple of weeks. You don't want to miss out if you're out of town and you can't be here. Join us on live stream. Good night. Good night.